legal literacy, ensuring that you understand basic law in everything that you do, whether it is purchasing an item at the shop, entering into a contract as an entrepreneur, or setting up a business, knowing your human rights, labor laws, and the like. This is the basis of for a curriculum that will be piloted in six high schools across the country in January of 2019. But to get to that point, today a Train the Trainers component was held at the conference room of the Kairos Center for Employment Training. Various stakeholders, including social workers, teachers, and public officers, are learning the techniques of teaching street law to their peers and in the classrooms. It's a program that we want to have in our high schools. At this time, we're having the uh, trainers training um, part of the initiative happening here at the Cayo Center for Employment Training. SET is a partner school with St. Ignatius High School in terms of the TVET. Indeed, we have six of our high schools that are involved, so representation from all six high schools are here. Three trainers from the Caribbean are facilitating the five-day intense workshop. They, along with the participants, will assist to develop the street law curriculum and the modules that will provide a more interactive approach to teaching and learning in the secondary education system. It is to prepare them for everyday life. Basic legal literacy as well. Um, most of our times we would be challenged as young adults, as at-risk students, especially those who go at our six high schools. And indeed we have our adult learners too. We have an adult program at the St. Ignatius High School and of course at Independence High School. So at this time we want our students to not only have the academic aspect math, English, and we could list out the others, but we want a program that will empower our young people of this country. We know exactly that we have a lot of young people in this country. What we're effectively doing is that we're preparing teachers by reference to a particular methodology and by exposure to particular areas of the law so that over the course of the week we can help them to start the development process of specific modules that will be developed over the course of the next couple of months so that by January they can effectively be in the classrooms to start working with their students and we don't like the idea of thinking that they're going in there as teachers even though they are. We want them to be seen as facilitators because the idea is that they're going there to assist the students to themselves be participating in and be interacting with them in a way where they can learn and become involved in the law as a development process. Executive Director of Street Law Caribbean Limited, Dr. Christopher Malcolm, is lead facilitator of the introductory program in Belize. He says that it is more an interactive, deep learning and critical thinking approach to know your rights and the laws of the country. What we have happened in Korea is that we have developed, not just here in the Caribbean, elsewhere as well, we have developed this very rigid, rotish way of teaching where students go in and they swat something, as we call it in Jamaica. And you learn what something from paper and you think about remembering everything on it. And you go in and write and after you finish the exam, you forget everything about it. That is not what we're interested in. We're interested in saying to persons, look, the law is something which you cannot avoid. And what we want you to do is to learn enough about the law so that you can understand when your rights are being abrogated. You can understand how to rely upon the law to further your business affairs. You can realize when it is to think more about the law and to ask questions about it. Dwayne Moody for News 5.